In this video, we're going through the sync feature on the CDJ2000 Nexus. The sync feature automatically beat matches up to four CDJs, giving you more time to be creative during your mix. It's really simple to use. The track that's playing out loud will simply hit the master button and then the sync button. The track we want to mix in will hit the sync button and then play. So as you can hear, the two tracks are beat matched. Simple as that, so it's all done for you. Before using the sync feature, there's two things that you need to do. You need to analyse all of your music within Rekordbox and you need to make sure the two CDJs are linked together. Within Rekordbox, if you import your whole library, it will automatically start analysing the music. This will give each track its own beat grid, a waveform view, and it will analyse the key as well. Once you've analysed your whole collection, it can then be exported to a USB drive, an SD card or an external hard drive. You can also use Rekordbox wirelessly on a mobile device or on your laptop with a wireless network to the CDJs. Rekordbox isn't compatible with CDs, so using CDs won't work with the sync feature on the CDJ2000 Nexus. We've loaded our entire Rekordbox library onto this USB key. We've got a track loaded up, and as you can see on the waveform view, there's red dashes, and as we zoom in, there's three more white dashes. This is what the, the beat grid actually is, and the red dash indicates the first beat of each bar. It's this beat grid that the sync feature uses to snap the two tracks together. We've also added the ability to adjust the beat grid from the CDJ2000 itself. If Rekordbox hasn't analysed the beat grid 100% accurately, that can be adjusted in real time. So, we can zoom into the track and we can hold down the navigational key and then we can shift it, shift it right or left, changing the beat grid. So if your beat match isn't perfectly correct, you can just adjust it here to bring it back in time. Just above the waveform view is the phrase meter. The phrase meter displays the current beat position within the bar. Hit play and you can see it counting through the bar. The blue display at the bottom is for the current deck and the orange one at the top is for the master deck. We can use this to match phrases before placing a mix. The second step you need to take before using the sync feature is to make sure your players are linked together. This can be as simple as using one LAN cable to connect the two CDJs together or you can create a whole LAN network with up to four CDJs, one mixer and two laptops. We have the DJM900 Nexus, so to add this to the link, we need to use an external hub. If you've got a DJM2000, this has a built-in hub so you can plug everything directly to it. Once we have a mixer in our link setup, you get so many more features. The on-air display displays which deck is going out live to the speakers. As you can see, it's illuminated red when it's live and it's white when it's not. The other feature we get is seamless switching of the master sync function. Currently, this deck's the master, and that's the live one. If we're then to mix across to this track here, this one's automatically going to become the master. This also applies to the up faders, the EQ and the trim. As you can see, sync is a helpful feature for beginners looking to learn how to beat match, but it can also be a powerful tool for DJs completing four deck mixes or creating live mashups.